This is a $40 fake Real Madrid shirt, and it is just one of a hundred fake football products I tested out. First up, footballs. So in my hands, I have two footballs. This is a $200 real World Cup ball, and this is a $35 fake. So to test out these footballs, we're gonna be recreating Kylian Mbappe's top corner strike against Poland in the 2022 World Cup, starting with the real football. And with our first attempt, we hit this. Once again on the swivel. Oh. <laughs> we're pulling out the Mbappe socks. Now we're definitely gonna get it. This time though, we hit the post again. Well, the ball works. Sean was on top for our third attempt, and with our second last shot going miles over, we had just one last chance. So we managed to recreate Mbappe's goal with the real ball. Now let's try out the fake. Our first shot with the fake ball actually felt pretty good. And with shot number two, we really started testing Sean. <laughs> So I've taken three shots with this ball and it actually feels very close to the real one. And then we did this. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. what a banger. Sean saved our final shot to wrap up the test with the fake ball. So after testing out both the real and the fake football, I actually couldn't tell any difference. So for this round, the fake ball wins. So in front of me, I have two football shirts. One is a $250 authentic Real Madrid shirt, and the other is a $40 fake. And right now, I have no idea which is which. So I'm gonna be taking my blindfold off to see if I can tell which one is real and which is fake. Are we sure we have one real and one fake? They're so similar, I have no idea. The shirts even have the same like texture through them. That's so mad. I don't know, I, I genuinely don't know. So with no idea which shirt was which, I tried them on to see if I could find any differences. Starting with shirt A. It feels good. If you told me this was the real one, I'd believe it. Then we tried on shirt B. This one doesn't feel quite as tight as the other, you know, and the sponsor just doesn't feel as slick. I'm kind of tilting towards shirt A as being the real one right now. Okay, so after looking at both shirts, I could not tell any differences until I tried them on. And I feel like the only thing that gave them away was how the sponsor on the shirt felt. So my final guess is that shirt A is the real shirt. So the real shirt, shirt B. Yeah, you can tell I was disappointed with myself here. I need a minute. I should mention that after wearing both shirts for a few weeks, that the badges on the fake shirt started peeling off really quickly. So while the fake shirt might initially seem great, the real wins if you want your shirts to last longer. So the next fake versus real product we're testing today is Prime. So of course we have the original ice pop flavored Prime, which is endorsed by footballers like Erling Haaland and Alicia Lehman. And the fake product we have to go up against it is Body Fuel. Where, where did we even get this? I don't know if we can technically call this a fake product because it is still a real brand, but I mean, they've copied everything from Prime. I mean, the logo is just so similar and even the flavor is almost identical, but everything is gonna come down to how these things taste. And we're gonna start off with Prime. That is really good. Now let's try the Body Fuel. Should I be nervous to taste this? <laughs> I can smell it already. Oh, it's not nice at all. It's just watery. It tastes like a rocket ice lolly whispered into the bottle. That's just like a weak taste and drink. Next up, Sean, we have fake versus real goalkeeper gloves. On the real side, we have these $100 Adidas Predator gloves. And for the fake, we have these $40 knockoffs. For this test, my friend Sean is gonna be blindfolded while trying to guess which gloves are real and which are fake. First up, we gave him the fake pair. Ooh, they feel like money. Oh, they're very nice. Oh, the grip is good. The feel is good. Yeah, I'm very happy. That, that yeah, yeah. Then we had the real pair. Oh, this is very tough. I feel like they've got more padding or something in them, which is probably money. I like them too. Which pair do you think was real and which was fake? I think B was real. Correct. Uh. <laughs> but before we could choose a winner, Sean was going to test them out first. These are the fake gloves. <laughs> and now, time for the real gloves. How do these ones feel? Very similar. So you tested out the $100 real gloves and the $40 fakes. Which did you think was best? It's gotta be the $40, there's no difference. So on my right is a real $30 gold target from Forza, which also doubles up as a ball carrier. 
And on my left is a fake $20 target, which doesn't. All right, pen one, let's get a top pins. We didn't come close to the target with our first shot and smash the post with our second. But with our third attempt, we hit it. Didn't even go in the target. And we broke it as well. After getting hit just once, this target was already falling apart. I already don't like the fake target. So we've hit this thing twice and it's broken twice. Yeah, this thing isn't good. It took me a long time to hit the real target, even though we had some very close attempts. But eventually we got it. And then did it again. So because it didn't break when we kicked it, which is kind of the whole point of the product, the real target wins. So in front of me, there is two shoe boxes. One contains a real pair of Nike football boots that cost $300, and the other holds a cheap knockoff that costs just 80. It's my job to open them up and find out which is real and which is fake. Starting with box A. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I think these are the fakes. These do not look good. What are those? There's always one way to test fake boots. My instinct is going that this is the fake one. Now let's open box B. Yes, these look a lot better. They even smell real. Everything about them feels a lot more premium. And let's try it out. It ain't going down the middle this time. So I think I already know which boots are real and which are fake, but let's take five shots with each to see which comes out on top. And first up, we'd be testing out pair B. Yeah, my money is on these ones to be real. Okay, shot one. Let's see how these things do. Oh, yes. Everything about these boots felt perfect. And after taking a couple shots in them, I had no doubts that these were the real ones. Okay, so we have one shot left with these boots and I'm pretty sure these have to be the real thing. Oh, save. So after testing out pair B, it was time to test out pair A. And these things feel rock solid. I'm not looking forward to trying these on. Ooh, I don't think these are gonna hit the same. And they did not. These boots were actually so bad, I nearly injured myself. Oh, I felt my ankle going for a second. I pretty much had to hold back on the rest of my shots because I was afraid I'd hurt myself. So at the end of the test, my guess was that boot B was the real pair. Am I right? Correct. Obviously. The real boots win. Next up, we have fake versus real gear bags. So on the real side, we have a $45 gear bag from Nike, and it will be coming up against a bag from a brand we all know and love, T60. So we're gonna be filling up each gear bag with everything we'd need on a match day to see if the fake can really compete with the real deal. First, we'd be testing the real bag. So first in, we have the football shirt. Next up, we have the shorts. We also need shin guards and socks. We also can't play football without boots. And finally, the ball. And everything fits in here perfectly. So now, we're gonna test out the iconic T60 bag. First up, we have the shirt, we have the shorts, shin guards, let's get the boots in here, as well as the socks. And finally, the moment of truth, can the ball fit inside the bag? Ah, it did. Everything is inside. I think this one is a little more stylish. So our next products are PSG training tops. And for this test, Sean would be trying to guess which is real and which is fake. Okay, Sean, so we've got two PSG training tops in front of us. Which do you think is real and which is fake? This one looks like, you know when you get the own brand cheese in like a supermarket? That looks like the wrapper of the cheap cheese. And that looks like the best cheese in the supermarket. So I'm gonna go with that one. A is the real cheese. Correct. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> so which one wins? Oh, it's gotta be real, yeah. Our next test is all about grip socks. So our real grip socks came in at a total of $30 and our fakes were just 10. And first we unboxed the real socks. And now the fake socks. Ooh. Oh wow. I think this is gonna be close. So for this test, the sock with the best grip should stick to the insole the most. First up, we tested the real socks. All right, now time for the fake sock. And I couldn't tell any difference. <laughs> There was no difference, and for $20, the fake socks win. So next up, we're gonna be testing fake versus real football boot cleaners. So for the real product, we have the $25 boot buddy. And for the fake product, we have this $5 shoe brush. So for this test, we have two pretty dirty football boots, and each brush is gonna have 60 seconds to clean as much dirt as possible off these boots. First up, we have the boot buddy. Let's go. And after filling this thing up with water, it was doing a really effective job of cleaning our boots. And that is 
time. So after one minute, the boot buddy did a really good job. Okay, so next up, we have the fake $5 brush. Let's go. Okay, so the water goes in here. This one is so much easier than the boot buddy. But while the fake brush initially seemed even better than the real, this one just feels like it's doing so much more. It really struggled to clean the studs. I feel like it's not doing as good a job with the studs though. And that is time. After one minute cleaning each boot though, the boot buddy came out on top. So next up, we have fake versus real training equipment. So the real product we have is this agility kit from Mitre, which cost $170. It hurts in there. And the fake equipment, this one cost $80. So we're gonna set up two training drills to test out this equipment. So inside the agility kit from Mitre, there was six hurdles, 10 big cones, a lot of different color small cones, and two agility ladders. And in the fake equipment, we had five small cones, a terrible looking ladder, and this weird looking parachute. So we're gonna test out the real training products by doing a drill. So after setting up this drill, it actually seemed like the real equipment was worth its price. That's pretty good. They literally gave us five cones, $80, eight zero. I have zero expectations for this. The fake equipment drill we set up just proved that this equipment was horrible. Get this off me, man. Get this off me. There's no comparison. Next up, we have fake versus real touch trainers. So we set up the real product and then it was time to test it out. First up, let's test out the real. <laughs> That's not meant to happen. After a while, we did get the hang of it, although it was a bit pointless. Let's test out the fake. Surely this can't be as good. After setting up the fake touch trainer, it was time to see if it was better than the real. Let's see if this is any better. Oh my days, I can't even use this one. But the fake was somehow even worse. Ah! So our final products today are these free kick mannequins. So on the real side, we have these $40 mannequins from Forza. And on the fake side, we have these $25 blow up dummies. And we're gonna be testing these out by taking five free kicks on each. Starting with the real. <laughs> and these things could take a hit. Fun fact, I'm named after David Beckham. Yeah, that was a lie. Pow, right in the kitchen. I thought they were good. I thought braver than a lot of defenders I've had in the wall. It took a lot of big hits. So after we tested out the real mannequins, it was time for the fake. I am not expecting much from these guys. And unlike the real mannequins that just stuck into the ground, the fake mannequins had to be pumped up. He kinda looks like you. No, he doesn't. But these mannequins gave us a whole world of problems because no matter what, they wouldn't stand up. And even with Sean and I trying absolutely everything, these things were just awful. Come on, lads. Get your act together. No! But they could take a hit. No! Nope! Oh. Last shot. And these things are horrible. It was the end of the road for these guys though, who definitely don't look like me. Well, I just spent a whole lot of money to prove that real football products are still worth the price. It's still terrible. So I guess every original has its cheap copy.